Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. Today we are cooking up some builds in the NBA 2K25 My Player Builder. If you want some more NBA 2K25, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe because we have NBA 2K25 dropping heavy. So today we're going to focus on like a Kevin Durantish build. I know KD is in 6'9". He's really like seven foot, but you know how it goes on 2K sometimes. Um, we're going to make him 6'9 today. And really, I just want to show you the versatility of the 6'9 build in NBA 2K25. So as always, just remember, I'm not telling you to go out and make this build. It's really just a template adjusted to your liking. Um, you can make this offensive heavy. You can add more defense. You can add more playmaking. Do what you want. Also, just remember at Community Day, we did not have any animation requirements. We have them now, but making the build, we had no clue. So all the stats here were based off the badges. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, remember, this is based off my play style and who I play with and how we run 2K. So once again, you can adjust this build to your liking. So you all know me, Slasher Game. We're going to get it going with posterizer. So we're going to get this posterizer up to silver. We have to go down and touch the vertical. We will get contact dunks. I just find contact dunking fun, but it's more so catching a ball and going straight up off of backdoor cuts. That is using the driving dunk rating. A lot of people think it's standard dunk, but standard dunk is for when you catch the ball in the paint and want to go up. If you're catching it in motion, that's driving dunk. So when it comes to the three point shot, you can take this wherever you want, right? I'm going to leave it at 82. We probably don't have to, but 82 is fine. If you want to save some points, you can honestly leave your three point shot at 78 and it will do the same thing. The most important thing is the mid range shot. You get that to 89. That's going to get you dead eye on silver um, set shot specialist on gold. And that will also get you those jump shot bases that you're looking for. And I know that three point shot seems kind of low, but you can see where you really don't have a choice and also takeover. Don't forget takeover is going to boost your shot so much that you won't even notice that it's that low. So 78 might be fine right there. If you want to save some points, like I said before, you get you a good base with the mid range shot you'll be just fine. So when it comes to playmaking, it's always pretty tough, right? Because I want to make kind of like a Kevin Durant build, but I don't want to be too out of position to where it doesn't have any type of role online. So when it comes to playmaking on this build, it's going to take a little bit of a hit. But once again, we're going to have some defense to make up for it. Um, the shooting will make up for it and the finishing will make up for it. So I know that speed with ball kind of scares you if you dribble a lot, but you still get lightning launch on bronze and then we get dimer and brace starter and all that. So it's not really an ISO 6-9 build, but it's more of a get to your spot build. Next up, we have the physical speed, agility, strength, vertical. The speed and agility will be the biggest question marks on this build because we need to find out what is good and what is useful. When it comes to strength, I'll put it at 73. You don't have to. I just like a lot of strength on my build. I hate to see my people getting bullied. Now, obviously KD is not at a 73 strength, but <laughs> you get some good badges, man. You get gold strong handle. So you're going to be getting blow buys. Most of the time, they'll probably put you at the four. And let me tell you, especially when you play fives, it probably won't be the case this year, but most teams try to hide their point guard in the corner. And if you're in the corner with 73 strength on this build, you're going to get easy buckets. So gold strong handle, bronze brick wall. It's not bad. When it comes to vertical, I almost tweaked out. I'm not going to lie. But once again, we just want silver posterizer and aerial wizard. One of my favorite badges low key, just because of the put back dunks. And we're pretty much solid right here. So once again, that's my play style. I really don't need high agility or speed with ball because I just get to my spots. But if you want to lower the dunk and strength, it would definitely work out that way too. So we're pretty much kind of set. We just have to work on our defense and we're only at 89 out of 99. So we're already like non-meta, right? We're kind of out of position, but I want this build to be usable online. And so we're going to soup them up on defense. Since the interior is going to get us paint patroller, just in case you have to drop or something like that, you can defend yourself a little bit unless they stand to dunk you. Playing the four, you won't have to guard the perimeter that much. So I feel like 74 is a good spot. You get challenger, immovable enforcer, silver off ball pest, which is needed to stop those cuts. You also get on ball menace and pit dodger. Once again, you can take the perimeter higher if you want to. I think our NBA 2K25 will end up valuing perimeter way more than steel. Because like I said, when we were playing that community day, I didn't see any plus. Everything was bump steals, you feel me? But this steel rating will get you silver glove and silver interceptor just in case. For blocking, I don't know, I'd probably tweet putting it at 80, but I'm thinking 
Maybe you take this out to the threes. Maybe you play help side in 5v5. I don't know. I don't feel like it needs to be at an 80, but I think I just did it because I could, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, you get bronze pogo, you get silver hot flyer denier, and that's great for stopping those rim runs for sure. But once again, you could take your block and put it on perimeter or interior or more pass accuracy, pretty much anything, bro. It's just really up to you. Now we're going to move the defensive rebound up to 70. So I get silver box out beast just to help my center out a little bit. Uh, my center would still be that interior force, right? But with this block and defensive rebounding, you'll be able to help out a little bit. So once again, look at the versatility of the 6-9. I'm pretty much cool with this and we're still at 96 out of 99. So if you want, you can get your 6-9 to a better handle so you can dribble a little bit better. Um, you can upgrade the driving layup. You can upgrade the standing dunk, uh, a little bit of post control. It's really up to you. Right now, I'm just doing stuff to make it say 99 because I have everything that I want. But once again, everybody plays differently. Everybody has their own style, right? This is really geared towards my style. And once again, we really don't know the animation requirements. And even if we did, we don't know which animations are good yet. And so we're just going off badges and vibes, bro. So in the comments below, let me know how you would change this build. Once again, strength, you don't need it that high. Of course not, but it's up to you. You don't need driving dunk that high, um, driving layup. You could put that on post control, stand and dunk. If you want to be KD though, which I always make a KD type of build, I got to have my mid range shot up and I got to have a little bit over three. Everything else is just a bonus. So I'm going to finish this build up by adding some post control. I always like post control. I, I like abusing people. We get silver post up poet, silver hook specialist, um, gold post fade phenom, and bronze post powerhouse. And once again, remember that certain attributes just tie into each other. I don't want to see any comments saying, yo, D-Man, why is your close shot at 81? When y'all know I didn't touch close shot. That's just the way it goes. And so, yeah, I mean, not a bad build, pretty all round 6-9, but once again, just really versatile. You could change this however you would like. You could change the weight and wingspan, make it more of an ISO 6-9. You know, like I said, I'm just showing off the versatility. So once again, these are the takeovers we qualify for. Oh my Lord, it's going to get nasty. Like just imagine hitting takeover, hitting level five. You don't even need level five. You hit level three and you'll be good. You can boost whatever you want. On this build, I will go for a takeover that boosts my three point shot. You see level three is plus seven on the three. You can boost your mid range three point. You can boost your speed. You can just do a lot of things with this build because the takeover system on NBA 2K25 is crazy. Also keep in mind, cap breakers might take this build to another level. Um, Matt's bash plus one could take this build to another level. There are a lot of ways to boost your build on NBA 2K25. That's why I say, don't worry about the stats too much. I mean, definitely worry about the stats, man. These bills are expensive. But 2K25 gives us a few ways to correct our errors later in the season. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out. So this is a 6-9 build that will have you hooping like KD, bro. You can dunk, you will be lights out from the midi. You can play a little defense. If you can get to your spot, you can play make a little bit. I mean, the build is just tough. Shades of Kawhi Leonard, Miles Bridges, whoa, <laughs> whoa there. And Rashard Lewis, y'all youngest don't know about him. The build name is the shot creating three level threat, which sounds about right. So in the comments below, definitely let me know what you would do to this build to tweak it. I'm actually interested in what type of builds y'all plan on making on NBA 2K25. So I hope this NBA 2K25 builder video was able to showcase a few things for you. If anything, that's all I really want. Once again, I'm not telling you to make this build. I'm just saying, yo, look at what you can do on NBA 2K25. These builds are going to be soupy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. More 2K25 on the way. Be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. You all be easy. Thank you for watching. Peace.